The question 17 is about proving angle relationships. This is one of the easy, simple topic. Here you are being told we need to find the measure of ABC and CBD. But the total angle is given. So from angle addition postulate, when you add them up, they are side by side, it must be equal to the total angle. So if you add 2x plus 5x minus 6, it must be equal to 120 degrees because they told ABD is 120, right? Now add them up, 5 plus 2 is 7x. This to the other side will be 126 because it will be 120 plus 6. Now divide both the sides by 7, so 7x by 7 and 126 divided by 7. It's more than 15, 7, 15, 16, 17, 18, yeah, 18, I believe. So it'll be x is equal to 18 degrees. You can just use the calculator, divide it. Oh, if you know the tables of 7, you know, you will get the answer 18. So we found the x value. Now, if we found the x value, can we find what is ABC? Yes, 2 times 18, it's 36 degrees. Now, what about this? 5 times 18 minus 6 so it'll be 180 half is 90 90 minus 6 will be 84 degrees so these are the answers and that's a 36 and 84 degrees pretty straightforward if you just know the simple things if you add them up this is the answer solve for x and substitute and get the other answers Similarly, over here, they have told us to find, just like the previous one, JKL and LKM, but the total is given, JKM is given. So add them up, just like what we did a while ago, find X value, substitute it, and solve for the required angles. Now look at this problem here. They have told measure of 6, measure of 6, this angle, and 7 is given. But you can see they are both are supplementary angle, right? They are on the they are linear pair. Basically, when you add them up, it's 180 degrees because they are on the straight line. So we know measure of six plus measure of seven will be equal to 180 degrees. Now it's 2x minus 21 plus 3x minus 34 that is equal to 180 degrees. Now you solve it up 5x is equal to 180 plus because this goes to the other side it adds up we can add this it's 55 and this is going to be 235 and 5x just divide by 5 over here it'll be 47 so divide both the sides by 5 you will get x is equal to 47 degrees so now you just substitute it back and you know we have to find all the number angles we will find it in a while but if you substitute this as 2 times 47 minus 21 you're going to get measure of 6 and measure of 7 would be 3 times 47 degrees minus 34 so just put this in the calculators you can find it we had 80, 94, minus 21, so it is 73 degrees, this one, measure of angle 6. Same way you can find the next one, 7. Now, what about this measure of angle 8? These are vertical angles, 6 and 8. So if this is 73, this must also be 73 degrees. So it doesn't matter what's the measure of 6, that will be equal to 8 as well. So here, we got 47 degrees as x. And then we measured 6 as 73 degrees and over here 7 as we will get it as 107. Now remember since they are up vertical angles, see vertical angles, the above one a linear pair. When you add them up, it's linear pair. Since these are vertical angles, they both are equal. So the measures are for 6 and 8, it's equal 73 degrees and for 7, it's 107. Over here another interesting one they have told us measure of angle 5 and 6 are equal and this is 90 degrees so what happens when you add them up what should you get so measure of 5 plus measure of 6 this is measure of angle 5 measure of angle 6 must be actually 90 degrees or you can do this 
90 degrees plus measure of angle 5, measure of angle 6 must be 180 degrees, isn't it? Now this 90 goes to the other side, you will have measure of angle 5 plus measure of angle 6 as 90 degrees. So this is the thing. You can directly take it as 90 and since these both are equal, what happens? You know, imagine this is x and then this is also x. So half of this basically, it's 45 degrees, but how you solve this x and x, it'll be 2x is equal to 90. So x value is how much? 45 degrees. Now if this is 45, both are 45 and 45 degrees. That's how we can easily solve it up here directly. So whichever method you use, since it's a simple problem, you don't need to stick to exact solution. You can just look at this. Okay, this is 90. Okay, then these both must be 90. You can just write that out. And then since they're equal, half of 90 is 45 degrees. That's it. So the, this is the supplementary theorem. And over here, again, another similar one. 2 and 3 are complementary, they have told. Yes, because they are 90 degrees when you add them up. And they have told over here, 1 and 4 are equal. So this and this is equal. And measure of angle 2 is given to be 28 degrees. So how do we find the other things? Now first let's do this, 2 and 3. Measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3. Since they are complementary, that means it's 90 degrees. And looking over here, you can see it's 90 degree right angle. Now we know 2 is 28 plus measure of angle 3. That must be 90 degrees. Take this 28 to the other side. So it will become 90 minus 28 degrees. So that is going to be 60 plus 2, it's 62 degrees. That is the measure of angle 3. And once you know this, you can say now we found out 2, we found out 3. Look at this. This is what a straight line, supplementary now. This entire, all the angles must be equal to 180 degrees, isn't it? And we know so much is 90 degrees. So when you add this and this, they must be equal to 90. Or if you write it out, 1, angle 1, plus angle 4, plus 2 and 3 is what? 90 degrees directly is equal to 180 degrees. So if you add angle 1 plus angle 4, that must be 90 degrees. And just now we did this, right? So this will be 45 degrees, 45 degrees because they both are equal and 2 is 28 degrees and measure of angle 3 is 62 degrees. So that is how we easily solve it up. See measure of angle 3 is 62, 1 and 4 is 45. And that's the end of this topic. Another simple topic, look into the figure properly, analyze all the given and see what is required to find out, substitute and easily solve them up.